This is Mission Control Houston now two minutes until the launch of the Japanese cargo craft HTV. Once again, it is flying under the call sign of Konotori. That is the Japanese word for white stork. It was selected after more than 17,000 submissions were given to the Japanese Space Agency to name this cargo craft. It is set to lift off from the Tanagashima Space Center in 1 minute and 30 seconds. It is going to be heading up to the International Space Station for the next seven days, carrying with it 5.3 tons of supplies for the Expedition 26 crew. This will be the second time that this particular spacecraft has flown. The first one, which was the original and maiden flight of HTV, took place back in September 2009. It spent more than a month and a half docked with the International Space Station. This particular HTV, number two, will stay until about uh, the end of March, docked with the International Space Station. After that point, it will be undocked and will head into a destructive reentry into the Earth's atmosphere. Now 53 seconds away from the launch of the Japanese HTV cargo craft. 34, 34, T minus 30 seconds and counting. To launch the quarter curtain starts. 29, batteries activation. 15 seconds. Flight mode on. Flight mode on. 10. Zen system, All systems are ready. 5 seconds to launch. 6, Main engine start. Main engine ignition. Main engine start of the HTV. And lift off. Lift off of the Japanese HTV cargo craft heading for a rendezvous with the International Space Station next Thursday. H2B rocket 2号機は平成23年1月22日 Pitch maneuver complete. The HTV now heading toward the southeast out over the Pacific Ocean. We had a lift off of the H2B launch vehicle number two with the Kono 32 on board from the Tanegashima Space Center at 2.37 p.m. on January 22, 2011, Japan Standard Time. After liftoff, the launch vehicle operation control was shifted from the blockhouse to the range control center. 50 seconds into the flight, the Japanese HTV and this H2B booster are already going supersonic. The HTV is fl now flying over the Pacific Ocean to the southeast with its initial flight angle of 108.5 degrees. One minute and 10 seconds into the flight, all systems performing well. Coming up on the point.
point when the four solid rocket boosters will burn out. The H2B is now flying smoothly. SLBA burnout. JAXA confirming uh, separation of the solid rocket boosters. These uh, come off two at a time. SLBA, Daichi pair bundi. SLBA, pair The first and second pairs of the SLBA were jettisoned. Both pairs of solid rocket boosters have now separated. One minute and 30 seconds from now, the uh, fairing that uh, protects and covers up the HTV at the very top of that rocket will jettison. And at that point, the rocket will be 75 miles in altitude. The Ogasawa station has started trucking. It's three minutes after liftoff. The first stage engine combustion attitude control and flight trajectory are all normal. Current altitude is about 108 kilometers. Velocity is approximately 2.2 kilometers per second. Payload fairing jettison. Confirmation that the fairing has been jettisoned. The first stage will continue to burn for two more minutes. There you see the uh, smoke trail left there above the Tanagashima Space Center. The first stage engine combustion attitude control and flight trajectory are all normal. Here in Houston, the flight director, Jerry Jason, is about to wrap up his shift. He's updating the Expedition 26 crew on board the...